everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review the last part of the Coast to Coast collections, the Jet Setter Travel Makeup Palette. If you are new to my channel, this is the third and last part of my Coast to Coast collections review. If you haven't seen the first two yet, I'll put the links in the description box below. I already have my base and my brows done. For the base, I use Gigi Hadid's BB Cushion in Fair. As you can tell, my face is actually whiter than the rest of my body, but it's okay because we're going to use a couple of products in the Jet Setter travel makeup palette that will make this face more manageable. The first class fierce Jet Setter travel makeup palette is a carry-on friendly travel makeup palette with all the makeup essentials you need to look fresh on the fly. Okay, well, I don't need to be on an airplane, but I think this is a good idea if you're just traveling around, if you have events, whenever, you know, there's like an unplanned party or an event, this is good. The Jet Setter travel makeup palette has two shades of concealers, two shades of lip balms, four shades of eyeshadows, a blush, a contour, highlight, and a mascara. It also comes with two kinds of brushes. I like the packaging. It is very cute. It's, you know, millennial pink in Taognerito. And it has the same holographic letters. As I use the products, I will give you my honest review. I'll try to use the brushes it came with. Because, the whole point of a Jet Setter Travel Makeup Palette is for the convenience. So let's see if this brush actually works. It looks like the usual brush. It's fluffy. The feel, okay lang. Medyo may tulis yung ibang bristles, I guess. But that's fine. I'll go first and swipe coral na blush. Because I... Oopsie. Sorry, sorry. Kawawa naman. The palette also has mirror, by the way. So I'm gonna use the brush and see if it's actually useful. It's just not the type of brush you'd use. Kung gusto mo ng well blended. But, you know, we make do with what we have. So, parang I think this is more suitable for the contour. It starts swirly motions. Well, the blush is fine. It obviously added some color on my face so I don't look too pale now. This is the contour shade. I've tried this in my previous videos for this collection. As you can see on the pan, it looks a little too warm, but you put it on your skin, okay na siya. This brush is not the easiest brush to use. So that's with the contour, without contour. And medyo nagmamatch na yung face ko sa body ko. I'll also use the brush for my nose contour but very very light lang. Pwede naman. And let me try this around the face. Next, we move on to the eyeshadow. So meron tayong apat na shades. There's one that shimmery. And then three matte colors now. One is kind of uh, millennial pink, but then the other is brown. And then there's a there's a black color, black shadow. So I'm gonna try to use this brush. And so my fluffy na part, meron ding flat na part. I'll start with the millennial pink. Voila. <laughs> I'll move on to the brown one na lang ito. And this is a little challenging for those with darker skin. The brush is okay. I was thinking, you know what, I'll just sweep brown all over my lid. I'm here up no brush because it's too short. I don't know if I can smoke it. Maybe pipisilin ko na lang. Siguro pisilin ko na lang para pwede dito. Right. Then like the gahon and black. Let's put that all over the lid. And then black under. Parang ito yung smoky eye na look na pwede mong gawin kung nagmamadali ka and you don't have a lot of time to blend. Put a little bit of the coral na blush. This one here. This highlight for the face. I'm gonna add that sa gitna. Just put it here. Oh, that's very pigmented. Other eye. Padami ako ng lagay. It's pigmented pala, so ano man. 
and then just blend. I just want this to be a more subtle halo, kaya ko siya ginananan ulit ng brush. And then for the highlight, for the inner corners, I'll just use this. Yung isa sa mga eyeshadow, so I'll use my finger for that. Pwede. I like this. I like it. I'm going to use the mascara, itong Colossal Volume Express. I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes. So I'm gonna try the mascara first on one eye so we have a point of comparison. Here are my eyes up close. This is with the Colossal Mascara, this is without it. Definitely a difference, but I like the fiber mascara better. And so I'm done with my eyes. Now I'm just gonna quickly highlight my face and I'll be using the highlight that it comes with. The one that I use on my eye. Maybe this is perfect for those who are crazy about highlights. The highlight is very subtle. But of course, you have the option to exaggerate that. Just maybe wet your brush or use a damp sponge. Since I'm not going to be bad for the highlight, I'm going to highlight my collarbones too. Nice, so. Oh. Alright, that's it for the highlight. I don't really like highlighting my nose a lot. Super mean said lang. So you might wonder, bakit hindi ko ginamit yung concealer? I don't really use concealer a lot. I am, however, gonna swatch this for you. So one on the lighter one and one on the salmon. I guess this is good for color correction. Ito naman to brighten up your under eyes or any areas of your face that you want to brighten. I have two shades for the lip balms. One is more peachy, the other one is more pink. So I'll swatch the first one. So yung lip balm na medyo peachy. You know, it is a lip balm. It's not really meant to put a lot of color on your lips. So, given that, wala ako masyado makitang pigment. Let me try the other color. Baka yun mas may payoff. Kung gusto mo lang ng mas makita yung kulay niya, just pat and don't swipe. Like so. Yeah, that works. Oh, I like the color. Para ako naka Ooh. Ooh, I like that. And this is the finished look. That is it for the Jet Setter Travel Makeup Palette. I can't choose my top pick because it is one product after all. Okay, so if I were given a chance to just pick the pants that I want from this palette, it would be this one, yung sa lips. These two and these two. Feeling ko kasi yung blush na coral for my skin tone. You know, it's very subtle, which I don't have a problem with. It's just easier to have a very pigmented blush. Tapos pa konti konti lang ilagay kasi sa kulang ng pigment. I love the contour powder. Again, it looks warm on the pan, but when you put it on your skin, it's perfect. It's kind of a cross between a bronzer and a contour shade. I like the highlight. I find that it's cute that it has the biggest pan. Yun ang pinaka last na mauubo sa inyo, yung highlight. For the eyeshadows, I just think that these two are not. They're so so. I love these two shadows though, the brown and the black one. And then for the lip balms, I choose this one because ito yung suot ko ngayon. This has more pigment. Just remember, this is my review. These are my thoughts. These are my own opinions based on my experience. I still want you to try. I still encourage you to get your own Jet Setter Travel Makeup Palette. It's a good deal. And dami nyang laman. No? Again, if you haven't seen my other reviews for the Coast to Coast collections of Gigi Hadid and Maybelline, I will put the links in the description box. If you have any other video requests, just let me know, okay? And I will do my best to get to them. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and you stay weird.